Be anxious for nothing. Hello, I'm Sally Glenn of Saved by Grace Ministries. Thank you for joining me today. Please share and like us on Facebook and subscribe to my YouTube and Vimeo channels. Be anxious for nothing. I'm going to begin with these scriptures from Philippians chapter 4. I'm going to share with you verses 6 and 7. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your request be made known unto God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Now I'm using the new King James. These uh, scriptures say a lot. They really do. It's a huge command. As a matter of fact, uh, we were talking after having devotions uh, one morning and my daughter said, of all the scriptures in the Bible, I think that this one is the hardest one to put into practice. How about that? Oh my! That is very, very true. It is hard not to be anxious or to worry. Share a bit of testimony. Now, I myself am an only child and I had a really, really special relationship with my parents. Mother was overprotective of me. I will never forget one time when I was a freshman in college. I needed permission to go away with friends for a weekend. So I went to my counselor's office where we called mother and her words were, Sally can go if it doesn't rain. <laughs> what? <laughs> really? Oh my, my counselor looked at me and she laughed. And then she said, Sally, I'm giving you permission to go. Well, times were certainly different back in that day, but obviously mother was a worrier. Unfortunately, too many of us are, even to the extreme like mother. Well, bless her heart. She spoke out of love. Yes, she did. And she meant well, too. But at the same time, there was a limited degree of trust in the Lord for my protection. Worry, anxiety, and over-concern reflect a lack of trust in the Lord. And these are basically rooted in fear. Oh yes, it is fear. Fear, which is at the root of these things. Now let me say this in mother's defense. She went to college at UNCG, that is, the University of North Carolina in Greensboro. Back in the day, it was called WC, or Women's College. And one time she carpooled herself with three friends to go home for the weekend. When it was time to go back, 
her mother had a strange foreboding apprehension that she shouldn't go. Well, mother honored her request and she put off going until later. It was a huge inconvenience. She had to get another way back and of course it meant going later. But as it turned out, what a blessing that she did stay. Her three friends were in a terrible, horrible wreck and they were all killed being so closely involved in something like that is mighty hard to get over. I'll be so bold as to say that it's impossible. Yes, it is. It's impossible to get over such a thing without the help of the Lord. Well, in Mother's case, she knew the Lord and had a close relationship with Him but she knew nothing about standing against the devil. So he came against her with a spirit of fear, and that manifested as worry and anxiety over concern. Well, I thank God she's with Jesus now, and she is free. Oh, yes, she is. Praise God. He who the sun sets free is free indeed. And that is John 8, 36. Furthermore, his deliverance is real and it is for you and me. Yes, it is real and it is for us. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's pray. Father God, I thank you for Jesus. And Lord, I thank you for coming, taking on my sin, and for dying in my place. I thank you, Lord, that you have come to set us free. And Lord, I thank you that your deliverance from fear is real. Oh yes, your deliverance is real. Lord, I look to you now for um, freedom from all bondage. And I look to you now to fill me with your spirit and use me for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen.